Hey guys, welcome back to FTB Skies episode 13. Or shall we skip 13 because it's an unlucky number? Nah, we don't believe in such things here, guys. So we're keeping it episode 13. Now, as you can see, the area that is looking fantastic, still not finished, but it's looking fantastic. Brilliant, incredible, amazing, show-stopping, spectacular, never the same, totally unique. This used to be the old tree farm and I completely converted it into a modern looking room. <laughs> Anyways guys, in today's episode, we complete a lot of quests, but mainly we get into the fission reactor which hopefully does not blow up like it usually does in our series let's get on to it guys hope you enjoy okay so to get the crying obsidian i'm just going to set up a small thingy in my boat here to provide the piglins with gold then i'm going to filter all the results via a chest and any results that i want i'm going to blacklist everything else will go into a trash can just like a soap. Now I'll just stay here just to see what's up with the results. To see whether I get anything else that is of interest and blacklist it as well. So some manual work is required. So guys, um, we got the crying obsidian. She's amazing and we can complete this quest. And we get a creative paste container and core and crystals. Which I guess we can use to summon the dragon once again. Uh, now the creative container. Paste container. I'm not sure if I'm going to use. But we'll see. Right. And I think we'll also need the dust. Yeah. Gem dust. Submit. Noise. And rune of fire. Noise. Everything else we will make. Right, next, lowless budding certis quartz. How do we do that? I guess we're going with this setup that we had for Botani. And by the way, I found a fix. You just slow crafting until primary crafting result is returned. And then the picked up item needs to return to the Emmy pattern provider from the item collector and not directly into the system. Now, I'm going to use the same filter card for the item collector and just place a load button crystal if it allows me. No, it doesn't. Well, we'll do it later then. So we're going to place an Emmy pattern provider right here with the flow button certus quartz recipe with three charged certus quartz and one certus block. And of course, the same thing here. Lock crafting until primary crafting resort is returned. That goes into an open crate and we'll need some water. Some water, but like so. And filtered pipe with the flow budding certus quartz now let's actually test this out low budding crystal it should drop yeah three items noise it's done guys and we just need this filter with a flow budding certus quartz now let's craft 10 more Huh? Right, the crafting is low. Right, let's actually help the system. Certus quartz and three oopsie doopsie. <laughs> oh, that's actually bad. Let's actually move that. Yeah, like so. And now it's working. That is fantastic and very easy. Now we can actually make the flawless but inserted squirts that we need. Right, let's craft 16 of it. The system will craft the low budding crystals that we need. And then the enriching chamber provided with the flawless pattern will craft everything else. And there you go, guys. And there you go, guys. Easy. 16. Let's submit that. All right, guys. Next step. I guess I need to automate the cooking pot because, uh, yeah, it's just uh, always needed in the quest line. So let's do that real quick. Mega pattern provider, just like a so cooking pot on the bottom stove. All right, let's see if that works. Vegetable noodles. Oh, we got one. Noise. Next one then. Squid ink pasta. Ink pasta. Craft. I'm missing squid ink, so I set up a small fishing net. Goshi on ink, and we can yeah, we can do that. What is it doing? Uh huh. So the ball is actually dropping into the cooking pot, which is not what we need. So to I'm guessing to automate that, um, yeah, I'll think about it. Right, and also we need item white to go 
like so. Hello? You have it, dude. All right, let's hunt that in. Very nice. Now, crystallize the amber. We'll need honey, magma block, redstone, and fire charges. Let's get on to that. All right, so we'll need a solidification chamber. Nice. Then, we'll need the recipe for the magma block, fire charge, and of course, the crystallized amber. Without the honey. Cool, cool, cool. Place this here. And then pattern provider. Like so. With this recipe and wait for the result. Right. And I guess I'll need some pipes again with a filter. Returning the crystallite amber only. Alright, let's test this out. Amber, let's craft. Uh, how many do we need? 64. Well, let's craft 64 then. 64. Let's go. Should be easy. How many do we have? That's nice. Let's keep on going. All right, guys. Next quest. Lumium ingots. I think we've got lumium dust. Lumium ingots. Oh, we've got enough. Perfection. Let's hand that in. And then arcane sands. Do we have any arcane sands? We do. That is amazing. We need to keep on going with this thing. Let's do that. All right, I think we've got everything we need, actually. That was pretty quick. Let's see what we get this time. And we've got the arcane sands. Noise. Right, annihilation and formation core. I think we can easily do that. How many do we need? Two stacks, I guess. All right, well, that's almost done. I guess it's waiting for processors. Right, the crystallized amber is ready. Amazing, and we get the creative motor, which is fantastic, guys. This is an absolute beast of a motor, and we've got infinite create power noise. All right, the annihilation information course should, should be ready. Amazing, fantastic, and we've got a creative mana cell. This is this is absolutely amazing. Right, guys, so I've automated some botania stuff, such as the mana steel mana pearl mana diamond and mana powder so basically this guy will just provide the open crate with the material it will drop into the infinite pool and then this item collector will collect everything and handle it back to the system then i've got almost the same setup here for the altar basically and of course i didn't make the recipe let's make them now on camera rune of air nice we'll need the recipe for the blue carpet and I guess we'll need a recipe for the blue wool. And I guess we'll need a recipe for the blue dye. <laughs> yeah, it's nice. Rune of Earth. Block of coal. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Rune of water. The runes go here. And then, of course, everything that is being crafted goes into our molecular assemblers. Just like a soul. Right, let's try making some runes. How many do we need? 16 of each. Right, and we've got the fire ones. So, 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 so. Rune of water. Can you do 16? Let's actually test it. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, that's bad. That's bad because I have a catalyst right here. Let's remove that. I thought there are no duplicate recipes, but I guess there are. I guess there are. All right, let me get back to you guys. All right, I removed it. Let's try it once more. Okay, who is collecting what? Who is collecting what? Is this guy collecting the... I'm confused. Yeah, this guy should be collecting the things we need. Right, we did not mana powder. Let's make one. Oh, wait. That's not fully automated, guys. Oh, no. Hmm. Yes, I guess uh, all the recipes for the runes will need an additional living rock. Just like a soul. And we also need to automate the... They won't. Now let's see how we do that. Let's see if that works. I've set up a living wand 
on a deployer and under the start button called wheel just because it's cool will this work let's test this out i don't know what are, let's just craft one huh it's i don't think it's working <laughs> all right guys i guess uh, vanilla minecraft to the rescue we've got a redstone comparator sending a pulse to this dispenser with the one when the items in the elven altar are ready now let's test this out and it's working pretty nicely we got 16 runes of water let's craft 16 rune of air and 16 rune of earth Noise. That is working like a charm. All right, next thing we need, we completed all the runes, and the next thing we need is an infused hell shelf. Now, to get that, we'll need some antenna, some quanta, and a hell shelf. Can we make the hell shelf? Ocean of regeneration. Oh no, let's actually try it out. Right, I think we can make that. How do we make an awkward potion? Never words and water bottles. Okay. And we've got a potion brewer, and it's called like a so. Yeah, why is this not working? Oh, there you go. All right, hell shelf. Very nice. Fused hell shelf. We need to enchant a hell shelf with some quanta and some eterna. Now, how do we get those? All right, guys. So I tinkered a bit uh, with this uh, apotheosis enchanting table and the apotheosis eterna quanta and arcana. And basically, you need to place different materials or blocks. And if you just type arcana, you get the values of each thing. Like, for example, a candle gives 1.25 arcana. Now, if I type eterna, I get the other blocks and anyways making the hell shelves was actually easier so i changed everything to hell shelves and now we can make the infusion enchant which is absolutely amazing let's submit that and yeah another quest complete guys so i messed up with the apotheosis enchanting a bit got an enchantment library which stores enchants i did use some levels to get some enchants but i see no point of continuing hey guys i completely removed the tree farm and replaced it with some futuristic looking room now if we need to we can dig down downstairs is the second floor so if we need more space we can go downward All right now i can't fly because i've put glass all over the place we cannot fly in but anyways we could use like if the fission reactors are huge or something we can go downwards all right let's see our next quest is basically getting a fission reactor because we need plutonium and to make plutonium we need nuclear waste which is basically produced from fission reactors now guys if you have watched my stone block series you might remember the following <laughs> then guys <laughs> i fixed the reactor but it blew again <laughs> oh guys that was a nightmare guys a nightmare well this took me like two days and at this moment i decided to take a break and that's why i dislike fission reactors so let's see hopefully this goes better than the last time all right guys let's get started the first thing we need is an electrolytic separator the electrolytic separator has been provided with water and i also have a flux point underneath the machine next thing next thing is to set up a chemical tank to output the hydrogen which we will need later let's set the front i hope this is the front the front output is oxygen and we need to output it into a chemical infuser okay perfect and now this thing the chemical infuser receives oxygen and of course power underneath all right guys switched it up a bit next thing is a chemical oxidizer and this thing needs some sulfur dust i need an export bus and we go like a so and export sulfur dust perfection sulfur dust perfect and it's already set to export on the right which goes into the chemical infuser and that creates sulfur trioxide next thing we need is a rotary condensator jesus i can say it that's amazing and that thing we will place right here amazing and i think we need to change the operation area to deconcentration and then it will need water 
All right, and we've got water vapor. Now the water vapor and the sulfur dioxide will need to combine in another chemical infuser. All right, let's place that here. And now this guy does have some vapor. And then from the left side, we need to input the orange one. And of course, this has to output the blue on the right. That is amazing. And it's making sulfuric acid. Let's upgrade that bad boy. Amazing. Fun freaking fantastic. Now the next two things we need is a chemical dissolution chamber. We should be able to make that. And then we also need a chemical oxidizer once again. Now the chemical dissolution chamber we will place in front of the chemical infuser with the sulfur trioxide. This guy needs to output the sulfuric acid on the front. So blue. Very nice. And now this guy has sulfuric acid. The next thing we need to input into the chemical dissolution chamber is some fluoride. So we're going to place an export bus, get some fluoride. Hello. Thank you. We're going to drag a cable like a so. And that's hydrofluoric acid done. Now here I'm going to place the chemical oxidizer. And this guy needs another export bus. But this time with the crafting card and some because we will provide this guy with, with yellow cake uranium, which is basically uranium ingot enriched in an enrichment chamber. And I've set the recipe there. So now let's see. Side config. We're in the items. Let's clear everything up. Go to the back and input. All right. And it's making uranium oxide. And now you guys probably guessed it. We need to combine the result of this two inside a chemical infuser. Let's place it right here. Nice. So it gets the uranium oxide. We just need to set, right, it's acid as well. So gases. Uh, left can be that. Then we go to the back and set it to orange. Hello. This is the back, right? Oh, of course. And this guy needs to be set on output to the front blue this should be blue perfection and now this guy is receiving uranium oxide and hydrofluoric acid which makes uranium hexafluoride jesus next thing we need is an isotopic centrifuge yes i'll go like so place down the isotopic centrifuge and then we need to confirm this to the back. Where's the back? Input. Perfection. And I think I can copy that with this. Perfection. And then let's go like so. What can I say, guys? Amazing, fantastic. We're making fissile fuel. Fissile fuel, we need to use an efficient reactor or a fission reactor. But first, let's use the hydrogen thingy in my boat that we left out at the beginning. We will need another pressurized reaction chamber. Actually, we'll need two of those. Yes. Let's remove that. We'll go like a so. And of course, don't forget to input some power. Some power, just like a so. And this guy, we will extract some biofuel, some water, water, and then some hydrogen from the side gases from the left now this thing isn't working because 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 we're full on oxygen how about we place this thing right here and then this thing like so and then gases front please oh and of course extract that please please right oh this needs settings as well well, let's place that like a so and then clear where's the back output please all right it does work amazing now we can set up a second one of those things and basically use the same setup water and hydrogen input this substrate again and i think it makes eight of them let's actually see 
No, we need the output of this, I feel, that's water. Well, you know what, guys? Let's actually do that. That sounds like a good idea. Right. Then, input some water on top. Input the ethylene from the left. And this guy will extract on the right the blue one. Perfection. And also input items from the left on this one. And this guy will extract on the right. Yeah, that's blue. Why is it not extracting? Output blue. Input red. Huh? Am I doing something wrong? Alright guys, I fixed it with a universal pipe. It seems to be receiving both ethylene and subs, uh, substrate, I don't know. And it's making a lot of them, which is one freaking fantastic. Now, now, now. We will need another one of those. The pressurized reaction chamber. Now this guy, let's clear everything. Oh, nice. It actually needs ethylene and the substrate. Yeah, that's actually good. But I think I'm not going to receive it from this guy. Yeah. Let's remove the items completely and let's just receive that from this guy. Hold on a sec. Like I saw, items received from the right and this guy, items back output. Hopefully this works. Let's test this out. It does work. Let's place one of those here. Amazing. Fantastic. And now we just need some oxygen. And oxygen, I guess it's a gas pipe, like a so. Noise, noise, noise. That's amazing. That is fantastic. And this guy, gases on the top. Huh? Guys, I figured out what I was doing wrong. The ethylene, yeah, it actually needs to be liquid. So we need a rotary condensator and plug it in here, I guess. All right, that's perfect. And then the final step for this guy. I guess I'll go like so. The liquid ethylene fluids will have an output on top. Perfection. And this will accept from the bottom. I don't know why I made this, because I was confused. Then this guy will pump the, what do you call them? The sub uh, substrates from here into here, and then oxygen from this side. And it needs a point. Let's place it on top. All right, perfect. And that's how we get HDPE pellets. Nice. Nice. All right, and I guess the best way for these guys to be made into HDB sheets is to go back into the enrichment chamber. We'll go like this. And an import bus. Amazing, fantastic. And we should set the back to output. Noise. All right. And let's place the recipe of the HTTP sheets into our enriching factory. And then diesel fuel, fission reactor. Now, I don't want to go too big. So let's place it here, I guess. And let's go five by five. Yeah, that should be fine. All right, guys. Hopefully, I'm going to go like a so. And five high. I don't know, guys. I'm scared. All right, guys. I'm a dumb dumb. I wasn't using reactor glass, but structural glass, which is not uh, the correct glass. I was using this instead of this. Now this should work like a charm. Noise! The red things means it's done. Very nice. Now we need to provide fissile fuel, then coolant, water, then steam for output and waste for output. Let's uh, do just that. Perfection and set this to output. Is my gas pipe done? Yes, it is. All right, perfection. It should have fissile fuel. Very nice. All right, I think that works. It's not going that fast, actually. Would have been going faster if we had 
Anyways, then we need a tank, a chemical tank. The more capacity, the better. And some radioactive waste barrels. Yes, that's exactly what I need. Let's make a few of those. Yeah, one, two, and six. Oh, wait, hold on a sec. Maybe now it will work. Because I couldn't figure out. And now maybe it should... Yeah, it should be working now. Nice. All right. And this guy... Can it accept from the bottom? It can. But I don't think these pipes can transfer gases. So I'm just going to go with the gas pipe. Now let's turn it on for just a second. Okay. Wait, does it... Does this mean everything is fine? Do I have any steam? Oh my god, I have a lot of steam. Not clear waste. Why is it not going into the barrels? Wait, maybe because it's not liquid? There you go. We got it. We got it, guys. Mm, we actually need that. What do we need knuckle waste for? Um, I don't want to pick it up. Right. Gases from the back. Of course, we need a point. Let's place it on top if possible. No? Impossible? I can't. Well, let's place it right here. Perfection. And let's activate it again. Do we get any nuclear waste? Let's remove that. And actually, let's place it right here. Yeah. I want that. Why is the nuclear waste not going in? Hmm? Okay, let's try this once again. Okay, it does have some plutonium. Right, and how much do I need to to make one of those? One bucket. <laughs> right. I guess that's gonna take a while. What do I do with the steam? Can I make a trash can for the time being? Yeah, I need an ultimate one. Okay, that's working. And this guy will work. Very slowly, but surely. Smooth a bit away so you can relax your ears. How do I make plutonium pellets? You need pressurized reactor chamber, some water. Right, let's place this guy here. And then gases from the back. And this guy passes to push the front very nice oh jesus and now we need five fluoride dust reflection and i guess some water yeah five buckets of water no i guess it doesn't work like that Oh no! Am I going to die? Oh no! Oh no! Hazmat suit. Noise. Noise. Very noise. And not nice. Very nice. But like this. Right. I guess it was the plutonium that was inside here. Let's get some water like this. Perfection. Very nice. And I guess I'm gonna go watch a movie. One day later. <laughs> All right, guys. And we're back. It's been about... I didn't just watch a movie. We watched one episode of The Good Doctor with my wife. Then we went to sleep. I went to work. Then I came back. We played some board games. And in the meantime, I also watched some Overlord. So it's been uh, almost 24 hours, actually. So let's see. What's up? Day 16. Well, that's fine. I hope we don't use too many of those. Because this thing, even though it's working and it's not blowing up. Oh, by the way, the radiation, I think it's gone. Yeah. 
that is gone. But I think I need the suit because the plutonium pellets are actually radioactive. I think so. Anyways, let's hand in the last of this quest, which is absolutely amazing. And we are on the final stage. What do we need? Liquid DT fuel. Right. And we get some fantastic rewards, guys. First of all, fly, which means we don't really need the, the jetpack anymore. Even though I want to test out. So this is... Oh my god, this is laggy. So this is 100 speed of the jetpack. Yeah, that's quite fast, guys. Now let's see. Let's remove the jetpack. Um, I mean, should we keep both? Unless we don't need to fly like that. I think we should keep the jetpack as well. Yeah, let's keep the jetpack. Right, next, next, next. Creative energy cell and a creative controller now the creative energy cell i'm not actually sure what's the use oh, jesus why is it so laggy oh i know why it's so laggy guys i definitely know why it's so laggy oh yes oh my god there's too many items i'm overflowing i'll be back guys hold on a sec All right guys we're better now All right and let's see so i think i just don't need to waste energy Creative energy cell. Huh. Yeah, I guess I just don't need to waste any energy for our system. Hopefully. Unless we can actually get energy from this thing. Nah, we can't. We definitely can't. Right, creative controller we don't need. What else do we get? We get all the... Yeah, creative element containers. Which is amazing because we can automate. I'm not used to it, guys. I'll just go back to the jetpack. The flight ability is nice, but the jetpack is better, in my opinion. I could get rid of all of these and just go with the creative ones. Alright guys, I think that's gonna be it for today's episode. I really hope you enjoyed. And if you did guys, please consider leaving a like and hitting that subscribe button, which will be much appreciated. Anyways guys, I hope you come back for the next one. Bye! Oops, but...